flags in the air. We're going racing, folks. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing, boys. I was car chief at DEI for, uh, for Steve Park, and uh, Steve got injured in Atlanta, and we needed a substitute driver uh, to, to take his place while he was injured. Dale Earnhardt obviously had a long relationship with Daryl Waltrip, so he called out to Daryl and said, hey, you know, you're not doing anything right now. Would you be interested in driving this one car? And Daryl jumped on it, and it was a really neat experience. We always knew when Daryl was really happy with the race car because he would hop up out of the car, throw his helmet up on top of it, and he would go to the toolbox and he'd open the drawer and get that five-pound sledgehammer, that little sledgehammer, steel sledge, and he would start beating on the bottom of the seat just to get it to where it fit his butt just right. So you knew the car was in pretty good shape if all he was worried about is how his seat fit his butt. This is hard to believe. I have loved this and I've done so much. Daryl basically retired at that point, was, was done driving, and I had moved on to Melling Racing shortly there afterwards. And we were working with Stacy Compton um, in the 92 Melling car, and we were just not getting the results that we needed. So we actually had a test scheduled in Michigan, and I called Daryl and I'm like, buddy, I need you to come bail me out one more time. Come up here and try to drive this race car for me and, and let me know what it's doing. Daryl gets there, and obviously he's excited. We all know Daryl likes to talk. So he's, he's chatting it up and you know we're trying to get him buckled in the car and get ready to go. And he's, he backs out of the garage and just completely distracted, not paying attention to what he's doing. He drove straight into a trash can, right in the middle of the parking lot in Michigan International Speedway. All my guys looked at me and were like, this is the guy you want to come shake down our car? <laughs> I'm like, trust me, it's gonna be okay. So Daryl went out and did a fantastic job the rest of the day, driving the car and, and guiding Stacy and I to, to going up there and getting a, actually a really good qualifying effort and a solid run. So a lot of fun with him uh, through that period of time. So many wonderful <laughs> stories about DW, and we'll continue to do that over the course of the next uh, handful of weeks here. You ever hit a trash can in the parking lot? I don't know if I've hit a trash can, but I've driven <laughs> over a curb at Homestead <laughs> testing one time and tore the right side off of it. So That's yeah. not hard to do at Homestead either. That, I mean, that, that's a difficult exit to the garage area. You know, I, I, was, I was pretty good in the sport for putting up more safer barriers in places. I, I was also <laughs> one that they put an orange cone up on the curb. You didn't catch Homestead anything from the crew over there. <laughs> oh, man. They had a lot of work ahead oh, of them. Yeah. Now, how do you break that to them? What's your story? Do you tell the truth or yeah, do you, like, you uh, manufacture uh, something when you've done something days, like I, that? You know, I'll tell you the story from my point of view at Pocono when I spun out leaving Pitt Road and I was stuck in the mud. And Ray Everham comes on and he's like, all right, man, get your tires. I said, I'm stuck in the mud. <laughs> Imagine being a crew chief, oh, God. You, your car just left Pit Say Road, what? and your driver says, I'm stuck in the mud, and I was. I bet he wasn't happy about it either. <laughs> no, you did no. some driving. What was the worst thing you ever hit? Oh, I hit everything when I drove. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. sorry, I had to tee up on okay, that. Okay, I don't know. That's I'm, why you had to be a crew chief. <laughs> and I will, defend, I will defend DW a little bit. That garage in Michigan, it's very easy narrow, to get something yeah. there as well. Yeah, it's a big racetrack and a very, very narrow garage.